All right, y'all. So we are actually here with some answers. It looks like it's been found out why um, Bitforex actually went down. So we have a little bit of information, which the information might not be necessarily good information, but it's a starting point because now we can do some research, dig into what happens when this situation actually occurs with an exchange. So we can try to see if we can find some answers, try to see if it's gonna be good or bad because at this point in time, I'm just gonna be sharing the information that's been found with you all. I'm not going to be sharing the next steps because I still have to research into what that is and I'll keep you all updated on what I find once we start digging into that. Um, once I get some answers as to if you can expect your crypto, if this is indeed what happened, can you expect your crypto back? How's that going to go? So I, I'll walk you all through the entire process as I learn it, but yeah, I gotta dig into that. I just wanted to share with you all immediately as I saw um, this just get posted. So um, we're gonna get into what actually happened in a second here, but this is actually an article from April 4th, 2023. And as you can see, the, FS, uh, the FSA is taking me measures to regulate crypto exchanges in Japan and has notified these platforms that they must register themselves as cryptocurrency exchanges to continue operations. So apparently Bitforex and BitGit, who VV is now, or Ecomi is now trying to partner with, they are not registered exchanges, or at least Bitforex, it doesn't seem that it's a registered exchange. I don't know if BitGit has changed things within this year, but it, it was in the same boat as Bitforex. And now we're getting on another one who's in that same boat. So this, this is what, this is what's weird when it comes down to the project. Why all these weird exchanges? Why why are you taking this route in the first place? This is what ends up getting your customers screwed. So you get you have the 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 best the best and the biggest brands in human history and then you're working with the shittiest partners in in human history in the entire crypto space. It's it's weird. It's very weird. It's a weird approach. We're not on a Binance, we're not on a freaking um Coinbase, we're not on a Robinhood. We're on, we're on a bunch of stuff that I never would have heard of. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. If I wasn't like diving into cryptos and stuff like that, we're on a bunch of stuff that I would have never knew existed. So yeah, like instead of the stuff that everyone on the planet knows exists, that, that's, that's a red flag for me. That's definitely a red flag. But um, let's continue on. Um, before we actually get to the article of what's really going on with the project, as you can see, Coin Market Cap just delisted Bitforex Exchange while Ecomi still offers it on their website. This team is a global shame. So Richard, as you can see, Richard has been upset lately. But um, yeah, so I don't expect them to just up and get to changing their websites or to even remember that's there. I think you're nitpicking at this point. But um, the fact that Coin Market Cap just delisted Bitforex is actually interesting. It's interesting that they they got Bitforex out of their ASAP. Um, look at this. Is Bitforex the next FTC, FTX? Yeah. So that that was that was pretty interesting. I thought the fact that they removed it that quick was was actually, you know, that that was that was good. That was interesting. Now on to what what they're saying actually has happened here. So here's an update to the situation. Digging a bit on the net, I believe I found something that is related to our situation. So this is the article he is referring to. This is the article. This was posted nine hours ago. So this article um, was just posted and this post was made eight hours ago. So um, I found something in, in that is related to our situation, an article in which it states that Hong Kong has stopped accepting license applications from crypto exchanges as of February 29th and will soon require all non-compliant trading platforms to close their business locally. The Securities and Futures Commission, the SFC of Hong Kong, noted that all crypto exchanges in Hong Kong that have failed to file for license applications must wind up business by May 31st, 2024. Essentially, as far as I understood it, the SFC issued a new law in which all crypto exchanges operating in Hong Kong must submit a license application until today so that retail investors may start to buy Ethereum and Bitcoin ETFs. A list will be released on June 1st, 2024, in which will contain all exchanges which have passed this application. Any exchange that has not submitted an application must close their business down by May 31st, 2024. 
So far, a list of crypto exchanges that did this is around 20, but BitForex is nowhere among them. Some exchanges have submitted a request, but have been denied. Basically, this downtime of BitForex could mean they have that they have spent it trying to get this application sent, but the exchange hasn't been updated on the website's list. It could also mean that they haven't met this deadline and are now forced to shut down. In either case, it doesn't look good, and it seems our funds are locked or possibly straight up lost for the time being, since they didn't even have the decency to update their users on what the hell is even going on. So this is bad and it doesn't look good. The way that they just, you know, went about things, the way they went about things is radio silence. Yeah, that that's that's weird. That's not that's not the approach of someone of a company saying that, you know, we it's 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 regulations and stuff happening right now in our country. We're trying to file for for uh you know register it and stuff like that like they they didn't give any explanation they didn't say that they're working on trying to solve a big problem that they have they said nothing and i guess that no matter what they said maybe it caused the panic or something like that but i would rather you call not now you not saying anything causes the uh, even a bigger panic and so that that leads me to believe that it's not necessarily a good thing like they didn't they probably didn't have good intentions um and yeah, it's like, and, and if this article actually showed who has been denied and they weren't even denied, that could mean that they just didn't even attempt to file and they weren't even attempting to ever be legitimate. So that that would be even worse. That would be pretty much worst case scenario where you probably won't expect to see anything back. Um, but let's see how people have responded to this. Oh, it's only one comment. Thanks for the research, boss. That's pretty much it. That's all he said. So yeah, and I think that we can actually go to this site and see what was what companies have been listed. Company name, virtual asset trading platform operator. Okay. So I guess this is um a Victory FinTech company. Is this the ones that's date of submission of license? Yeah, so these are some of their exchanges, trading platform. Okay. This is yeah, these are the trading platforms. BGE, HK Bit X, HK Vax. What's with the, like, what's the, oh, Hong Kong. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm like, what's with all the HKs, bro? What's going on here? Um, But yeah, oh, and that's the, well, it looks like it's a similar company. Or, yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. But yeah, OKX, OKX, okay. So OKX is legitimate. Interesting, that's the only one that I know. Oh, Bybit? Bybit, okay. YouTube has been promoting this for a long time. So it's good to see that that's, that's um, up to, Bar there crypto.com um gate oh i got i thought this was gate io no it's gate hk <laughs> um okay who be hk bullish it's something called bullish it's crazy okay so yeah i mean really the information that you need to see here is the fact that bit forex doesn't even make the cut bit forex is nowhere on here so, th this definitely sucks. I want to understand VV's approach and, and what VV is going to do next because it, it is good It is good points being raised here. Um, it, it's definitely some good points being raised here. I mean, this article was dropped in April 4th, 2023. So, it leads me to wonder, is does VV have anybody scouring the crypto space, the exchanges? Like, you, you, tell, you tell me that you hire an entire OMI token team, this should be the first bit of information that this team finds out. Any place that your token is, any place where the token can be exposed, in any place, like this should be one of the first things a, a crypto team for the OMI token should know about. I'm, I'm, just, I'm saying like, you're, it's not like your token is on that many platforms where they can't keep track of, you know, keep track of information like this. Your, your token is not on many platforms at all. You can literally have all the information, 100% of the information about all the platforms that you're on quite easily. So for something like this to, to be overlooked, it, it's concerning. It's definitely concerning. It seems to me like it's we're going to hit a limit with VV's incompetence. We're definitely going to hit, or Ecomi's incompetence. We're going to hit a limit, man. They they keep making too many mistakes. They keep 
they keep that like this is simple research this was basic research like you could have figured this out you could have looked this stuff up now obviously like th this is an article that got posted i would argue that if you're partnered with a company you're on their exchange you're working with this business you should probably know this stuff before it even makes it to an article what else is your your crypto department supposed to be doing but definitely at the point where an article comes out april 4th 2023 you should start preparing for the worst case scenario and you should warn your users like you should warn your users that this article exists and even if you don't take your tokens off of bitforex you should warn your art your users to keep your assets off of the platform make sure if you use it to buy assets you take it off immediately and you probably don't want to keep uh, you know assets sitting on there like you should you should be in a situ in a position to warn your users but it's like they're so caught up in development and doing a terrible job there that they don't even really think to consider their users and how many people are actually being hurt by their incompetence. And then they get these this ego about how many people love them, how they go to these events and it's all good and fun and love. Bro, these guys are rich millionaires. Them popping up at these events and having fun with you all, that's great. It's cool. Amazing vibes. It's probably a good time but they are hurting people. And I don't even believe that it's intentional and that's what's scary. If you can unintentionally hurt people, that's a hell of a lot scarier than intentionally trying to hurt people because you're accidentally a fuck up. Anything you do it brings a risk to every everything you do. So yeah, man, that, that's just some of my thoughts and opinions on this. Let me know how you all feel about this information. Now we have some, some legitimate information that we can work with to start diving into. And I'm going to research, like, let me know if you all find it. Hit me up on Twitter if you find what actually happens to these companies after this happens. Like, what, what what's going to happen to the funds? Are users going to get their money? Is that just an L? Like, what's up? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but, yeah, I mean, let me know how you all feel. And be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one, fam. Peace out.